Hey guys, not my typical setup, but I figured I'd do a little behind the scenes. You know, a lot of people have been asking me about my like skincare routine, so I figured I'd do that. I'm kidding. I wanted to share some behind the scenes of what happened with my meeting last week with Jack Dorsey. Like so many of you have asked me and I figured it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I figured I'd let you guys in and share while I get ready because I'm about to film week three's video. I'm gonna share a little bit of efficiency tips. But for those of you that don't know what the heck I'm talking about, if you watched last week's video, I shared my tips for how I got on Twitter. Do you mean Jack Dorsey? And they were like, yeah, let me move some meetings. And that I was asked to speak to the entire Twitter executive team, which literally includes like the most powerful people. Like they are the ones controlling information and how we see it and how we think about it and what they're allowing. And so I was like, honored that they care to also talk to someone to learn about my experience on Twitter as a woman. One, I, I got on the call, I was like insanely nervous. Like I remember I had to like turn the air conditioning down so much because I was like, I'm sweating. Well, before I even get on, they couldn't send me the link for security reasons. So I had to wait and they would send me the link five minutes before I could sign on. And then there was an exact time that I could sign on. And when I joined, spoiler alert, Jack Dorsey uses Google Hangouts. So when I jumped on, the entire executive team was there. CTO, CMO, head of, head of product, head of research, you name it. There was like 13 people on this call and I'm, they're all like waiting for me to speak. And so to break the ice, they all introduced themselves and they shared if they were an introvert or an extrovert. Jack Dorsey said, depends on the situation. So he's, I guess, like an ambivert, right? Then we dove into the one hour kind of question and answer session. So the things that I would take away from this conversation are one, this executive team cares so much about what they do and the impact they can have on people and the world and they don't take that lightly. Every single person was engaged, they were listening, they were asking questions, they were smiling, they were nodding. So that's number one, they care. Number two, they care about women. I think because of what happened in 2020, we had an election, we had a pandemic, we had social injustice, like there are so many things that have happened that they had to probably like skirt their rope back. They were aware of some of the challenges when they were facing. And so we talked a lot about what the solutions could be. And so two things that I brought up, thanks to all of you, are one, DMs, and two, onboarding. And so we talked a lot about these things. I distilled it into like, DMs are a dumpster fire. I lose like potential investors amidst reply guys. If I don't respond at that moment, like I'll lose it. It's just not efficient. So we talked about that. We also talked about the fact that there are pockets of Twitter that are safer for women than others. I, I shared like, I love talking about Bitcoin. I love talking about crypto, but I'm scared to do it on Twitter because my DMs will get gross. One day I tweeted something, I had to block 60 people because of how they were responding to me. And I just kept, as soon as they would respond something mean, I would just block them. But that's an issue. They gotta figure that out. Onboarding, I, I shared how in my last video, I know I shared with all of you guys, but I shared how the first six months on Twitter are like, you're tweeting into a void. There is no ROI. You could be saying the most profound thoughts and no one's hearing them. So I shared that and we talked about different onboarding experiences. Like perhaps we start to um, show lists and we reward people for putting great lists together of like women to follow or the other joke I made to them, which made some of them laugh. We need to like layer hinge onto Twitter because when I started, the best part about it was the fact that people I knew were telling me about their friends who to follow because they were friends of friends. I got even more excited because I'm like, there's a chance I might meet this person. That's so cool. Like I'm gonna reply to their tweet. I, I want them, I wanna get to know them. So somehow we gotta figure out how to layer on those like connections or tertiary connections. I have no eyebrows. I have to add them. This is what happens when you are blonde. So when it was over, they asked a ton of great questions. They were so engaged. I'm so impressed by this entire team. Then it was over. Thank to everybody. I wiped the sweat off my hands. All of a sudden, everyone followed me on Twitter, which was crazy. And so I did what one would do. 
and I tried sliding into Jack Dorsey's DMs. And I literally was like, no, you're not gonna see this. No worries, just wanted to say thank you. Um, super impressed by your team. Within like five, 10 minutes, he responded, thanked me for my time and said, we will keep working. And that was like the tone of the whole conversation is that they know they can do better and they want to do better and they're working on it. And I got a DM from the CTO and the head of products both saying like, we have new features coming. We'd love to like share them with you. So they're working on this. Long story short, I'm really hopeful for where Twitter is going. If you aren't on Twitter and you're interested in getting on the platform, but don't know how, check out my last video. I'm gonna go finish getting ready so I can record this week's video. So like and subscribe if you want more of these behind the scenes of me building or getting some of these like crazy cool experiences. I wanna share them with you guys because you're supporting and opening these doors for me. So thank you. Uh, see you guys soon.